Hello there, M.Strange here, and uh, with this video I wanted to continue and give you some more Cinema 4D character animation or just animation tips, because <clears throat> I find there's not that much stuff out there about character animation in Cinema 4D because not that many people are doing it. So um, if I can help you out or make your work or life a little easier or faster, uh, I think that's a good thing. So, um, I wanted to share some little scripts, nothing really complicated that I use every day when I'm animating. Um, so, let's, let's see some situations where you would want these scripts. <clears throat> so, let's say you have a character that um, has a bunch of objects in its hierarchy animated. Right? So, if you went through here and, you know, there's all this kind of stuff going on. So then you go to this character and you just see all this stuff happening, right? And let's say you just want to delete all the animation you know, on this character. So a lot of times what I do is that I'll animate a character in a scene and then just copy it into a new scene or, you know, I'm moving stuff around all the time. So then, I mean, if you want to delete all the stuff off this character, first you have to click on his controller, shift T, go to its keys, delete those, go to this controller or whatever controller is um, animated, right? But so I made a, a script to do that really quickly. So all I do is click on the character and then I made a shortcut for the script which is shift delete and then in that it deletes all the animation off the character rig or actually it deletes it wherever you click whatever you click and execute that command it deletes everything in that hierarchy so um, if you want to make your own scripts or if you don't know where to find scripts or where that stuff is uh, you go to the command manager it's a little I'm using cinema 4d 11.5 so it's harder to get to this stuff but I think in the newer versions you just can go up to the script menu and some of this stuff is here so you have a script menu and the one I just executed was this one so it's just selecting all the children showing the tracks deleting them, switching into automatic mode, and then showing everything that's animated. So that's something that I use. That's the one we just executed there. Let me move this out of the way for now. And so another one that I like using too is that say you wanted to see that what is animated on a character before you delete it. So again, let's go through and um, animate some random stuff. Because a lot of times, you know, you may be I mean, I work alone, so I, you know, I may be working on a character one day, and then go back to it the next day and be like, "What the hell? What was I doing?" You know, or I don't know, or you just some, you know, a lot of times in character animation, the thing that screw you up is that you don't really know what's going on, or you accidentally animated some handle, and you, you can't really tell what is there. So by default, you know, there's no real way to just show what is animated in all these controllers in like one click. So then I create another shortcut where I just click on the character and press shift P and then as you can see it'll show me everything that's animated on this character and then I can decide oh okay the foot controller the lower body controller right hand and then I can do what I want with this stuff. So that one I have on shift P and that one is just let's see uh, it's just select children show tracks show animated. So wherever I click, it goes, selects the children, goes in the whole hierarchy that shows our tracks and shows what's animated. So um, if you don't know how to make scripts, I mean, there's tons of video tutorials out there on, on how to make scripts, but something that can help you is opening the script log so you can actually see what's going on, you know, when you're executing. It's like making actions in Photoshop. And then you can just, you know, select the stuff and then copy paste it into a script. So that's one. And another one that is super helpful to me is um, like let's say I just want to click on a controller or anything in the scene and I want to see its keyframes or its attributes in or I want to see it in the object manager so I can do something to it so there's a command that's supposed to do this called scroll to first active and I found that it's not that reliable at least for me maybe I'm doing something wrong but I just turned it into a script so I execute the command so I just click on something and then I press the equal key or the plus key and then it shows it to me here in the object manager and then I can go look at its parameters so it's really handy to do this so if it's buried in a hierarchy like characters often are you know you can click on it and then press it and then okay there's the hair there's its parameters 
So this one is just... So there's a scroll to first active command, like built in, and I, for some reason when I press the key that doesn't always work right. So I just made a script that just executes that command. So let's see, where is it? Scroll to active. So all it's doing is one command and it's just executing this based on its ID number. See. So those are three things that I use every day when I'm animating and they really speed up my workflow. Um, let's go delete all this animation. Okay. So <clears throat> there's a ton of other ones that you can make and I did make some other ones but these are the ones I find myself always going back to. So if you're doing something over and over, um, uh, make a script out of it and just you know make some a workflow that works for you. And I will put these scripts in a zip folder and include them with this video or wherever I post this so you can download them and use them with your character stuff. So I hope this was helpful. Until next time, M.String saying the bye.